Having to be someone who was born with disability, I think that's something that has strongly been in me from a young age. When you are born into a world whereby people have perspective about you, people discriminate you, people don't believe in you, you had to learn to believe in yourself. How I began playing tennis, I had to figure it out. How to play it, how to just get the ball over the net. I had to stay in, explore and work hard. Just getting to Paralympics, it's quite an honor and a privilege to be out there and be able to represent the country. In 2017, we just lost our funding. It came to a point whereby they just said, guys, you need to start looking for your own funding because things are not looking great. And I was getting you know, worried with my ranking and someone pulled through for me. They gave me funding and they carried me into Roland Garros and when I was in Paris I got an email saying you got a wild card into Wimbledon then I'm thinking yes I just had to get to Wimbledon that was important so I think I made that decision and I just went with it but uh, I didn't know what to expect Wow what a response from a South African I just think being at Wimbledon by myself gave me courage to just like face the world against all odds what a set of tennis that is Six Six responding it was just the best decision i could have ever taken i grew up in the rural part of south africa the reason i ended up going to a special school simply because in the rural areas where i come from this school it was too far i was supposed to walk there and obviously with my disability it was concerning for my parents for me to walk such a long distance. So they opted for a special school, a better environment because it was more accessible. I was very close to my family, so it was hard for me. There's something in me. I always find the courage to wake up every day, go to play tennis, because when I'm on court, it really kept me sane, you know. I think along the way, whatever that she has learned, she's really giving back to the young ones. And kids out here just adore her. Being in a wheelchair is not something that I ever thought that I would be in. At first it was difficult, but when I went to a special school, I found my other talents. They said you must not judge a book by its cover. <laughs> I love his stroke, because when I remember when I started, I didn't even have a forehand. And he's just like killing it. I have been playing wheelchair tennis for a year. It's nice to have someone that you are looking up to. I even learned some skills that I didn't know about. Don't let your struggles define you. That's one of the best advices that I've ever had. Never feel sorry for yourself because we all have abilities, you know, and we all have different ways to display those abilities. So it's just a matter of believing in yourself and putting yourself out to the world. The most important thing is he chose sport. If you have courage, you go in and you do stuff that you normally would not do. You're brave, you surprise yourself. Other kids will have doubt if they can do it or not. So it's just so encouraging to see a young person like him not giving up but willing to try new sports. When you have courage, you don't go and hit with a person who's played four grand slams. He's just looking at KG like any other player, hitting the balls back and forth. I think that is courage right there for me. Today, sport unites us as South Africans. You know, we are united because of sports. And most of the time, as we come together as a country, it's because we'll be celebrating a victory. But you know, having a generation like Kanye's generation, what's happening right now is that they are growing up in this South Africa. That is so accessible acceptable in the world, what has always been our best quality as a country to bring us together.